We're at Peel Fishing Port and home to the Queenie Festival, a celebration of this local delicacy. Fishermen rely on Queenies for their business, but this year there's a bit of a problem. Um, I'm with David Beard, he's from the Manx Fish Producers Organisation. Um, this seems to actually have come out of the blue a little bit. There might not be any Queenies to fish. What's, what's been the problem? Uh, the problem really is the fact that the, the biomass, that's the amount of Queenies that is out, are out there, in the RSC and around the territorial waters of the Isle of Man, um, that has reduced drastically over the last three to four years. It's been gra going down gradually, but this, this year in particular, Bangor University, who do the assessment, have found out that there's a, a limited number of uh, queenies out there. But, but there's been no indication to date that, that we might actually not be able to, to fish in the Manx territorial waters this year. No, um, it has it has come upon us quite suddenly. Um, there has been a uh, certain amount of overfishing over the last three to four years, or good fishing in a way. Um, and, but that's, unfortunately that's coincided with a lack of recruitment of the young scallops. That's basically any new scallops that, come, that grow and come into the population. There's been low numbers of that in the last three or four years. And it's a combination of those two factors which has brought us to where we are at the moment. Which is that DEFA is looking at, at this now? Yes, I mean, Bangor University, who advised uh, DEFA, they have advised that uh, there should be no fishing this year, um, which is uh, one way of, of protecting the stock. Um, there are other tools that, that can be used, such as limited number of uh, queenies caught, um, lim limited amount per boat, set days for fishing, um, and, uh, and a reduced season. So there are some ways that you can reduce the amount that is caught, and that's what needs to be done. There, there needs to be some fishing for queenies. Our um, trawler men they rely on this for three to four months of the year and uh, if you can imagine yourself if you just suddenly had no job and you had no income and you had no redundancy pay that's the situation they're in. This is it I mean the impact on fishermen could be quite large couldn't it I mean yes. and, and not to diminish that but we also have our annual and what's become a well-established Queenie Festival now don't we? Yeah the Queenie Festival has become a good event and uh, I'm sure that will go ahead. Um, I, I firmly believe there will be some uh, fishing for Queenies this year, it'd be limited. Um, we're in negotiation with the government at the moment and the Queenie Management Board, which decides these things or advise the, advise the Minister, uh, they're meeting on Friday and uh, they will make a, a recommendation to the Minister and then we'll find out probably within a week's time if there will be any fishing. But I suspect there will be a limited amount. And, and in terms of the uh, fishermen again, it, it's not just this year, apparently there might be a, a, a knock on effect. So this could really, I mean, could this ruin some livelihoods here? It definitely could, yes. It, and it's very important that the government, that DEFA, bring in regulations which tightly control this fishery over the next two or three years, but also ones which protect the Manx fishermen. Um, one of the major problems we have is that um, because of the fisheries management agreement we have, we need to allow uh, equal access to Scottish and Irish boats. And um, while the Manx fleet have increased their fishing over the last couple of years, um, the UK boats have increased it far more. And it really needs to be strict controls so that we can regulate the amount that each boat takes and then there'd be a fair amount of queenies for each 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 person and each boat. Is that something that, that could be looked at then, the fact that the, that the other boats can come in? Oh yes, it's, uh, there's going to be, if there is any fishing at all for queenies, there'll be very tight regulations um, and I think probably the regulations will be so tight it may not be worth some of the non-Manx boats coming over here to fish because there's be such a limited catch per boat allowed. And I think going forward, it's one of the things that certainly I'm going to encourage our government to, to look at. And the common fisheries policy does allow you to bring in methods and proposals which will allow you to help your local fishermen and help the local fleet. That's very much encouraged nowadays, nowadays in the common fisheries policy. And, and just to clarify, this decision hasn't been taken yet, has it? No, it hasn't. No, no. The Queen Management Board, as I said, meets this Friday. And that is, uh, board is made up of um, various sort of representatives from Isle of Man, from uh, from uh, Scotland and from Ireland, and, and processors on the island. And, and again, the processors are going to be affected by this. And the, they will give a recommendation on Friday, and then it will be next week that any decision is made.